What is up guys, it's Sobash. We are back with some more Clash Royale and we finally finished the series that we were doing. And there it is, the witch. That was the last epic that we needed. And we're going to push and we're gonna level up, create a guild and get into some more fun stuff. Finally with Clash Royale, uh, we'll be able to stream and you guys will be able to come in and duel against me 1v1s. So it's gonna be pretty fun. We get a push going. Uh, let's get this giant out. We got a lot of range stuff in this deck right now, so it's going to be really interesting to see if anybody's going to be able to counter it. And he just broke out the zap, but hey, you just opened up my crown tower or king tower for the cannon, and I'm not going to complain about that because if anything comes down, you just help me out. All right, so witch is down now. So let's drop Witch back in again, which is actually pretty good uh, for this level. I mean, with the spawning the skeletons out, it makes it a little bit more difficult to try to counter. And that was a quick win for it. And we finally got the Witch in. So what we're gonna do, see I'm only five away. Let's go ahead and claim some of this stuff. And that's gonna put us at level three. We're finally level three. Now we can go up to the next arena as well. And what that's gonna do is let us open up some more stuff and let's go ahead and open up a clan as well. All right, so we're gonna go over and we are going to create a clan. We are going to call it Mobile Gamers. I don't think we can put a space in it either. So if we have to uh, change that, that's cool. Uh, let's find us a cool little logo. Um, anything, what can we find? Nothing close to that resembles a mobile game device or anything like that. So let's just go with, um, let's go with the blue heart because we love you guys. And type is open, trophy requirement. Uh, we'll leave it at what? 600 for now and we're gonna go ahead and create this clan is created hey we unlocked an achievement I'm a team player awesome so we do have a clan guys if you want to join the clan it is mobile gamers you can find it and join and I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and work we can actually push trophies up now I'm not too worried about it so let's continue pushing and oh we have Prince out to begin with I like pushing with Prince. He does a lot of quick damage. The bomb tower is not gonna get much in. We, looks like we got a hut deck player. Somebody that's trying to play a little bit more defensive. Uh, so let's sit on a little bit of, oh, we're gonna take that tower out on the first push, cool. Get a couple more shots in on this. All right, that's gonna die pretty quick. Uh, so let's continue. We will drop a witch back to the side and Baby dragon because that hut tower is just about gone the splash damage We're going to take care of these two guys with witch coming up That right there. Hopefully we won't get in range good baby dragon did not get in range of the tower. So we're good there So we can actually sit on some elixir and let this kill stuff and we'll push with a giant Giant did take the tanking damage and baby dragon is taking the tower damage So we'll throw in some more stuff and you see that witch is still alive and look at all the skeletons that the witch is just popping up being annoying with And let's get rid of some of these skeletons Run some of this in the back and that looks like it's gonna be game over. Well, they did survive. Well, we got one little skeleton little skeleton took him Yes, all right So let's continue on we need to get what? four more yeah four more and we can get the crown chest um, I've still yet to get a super magical chest in quite a while I know I got one way earlier on in the game I didn't uh, show you guys opening that when I did get it but uh, let's try a giant and witch push right to begin with and see how they handle it and I did not want the witch out in front that is okay Cause that witch is gonna do work to that skeleton army that he dropped and here we go baby dragon right behind gonna take splash damage I love using this baby dragon 
especially for these lower levels, Baby Dragon's really, really hard to counter. It's almost impossible for some people to take it out because, I mean, it's, you got to have the archers or the musketeer or stuff like that to be able to counter it, and it's really annoying. But this guy's level 4, so he should have the cards to be able to counter some of this stuff. I didn't want to get that hit on that guy. That would have been actually nice to get the good hits on the tower. Going to arrows, all of that coming in. And these hut, these hut decks are just quite annoying. Uh, so we will go with another giant, plus we're going to drop a witch again behind, so let the giant soak up the damage. And actually, so let's go baby dragon instead, because it's a lot of small stuff, so that splash damage is going to help out from baby dragon. Spirit goblins to get some ranged in. Guy's actually protecting his stuff pretty well. So it's going to be an interesting game, seems like. Um... Skeleton army to take care of all this coming in, especially that mini P.E.K.K.A., which can be quite annoying. Hopefully we can get it down. Yes, we will get it down before it does reach my tower, so that's good. Uh, these guys, not too, too much worried about. Okay, so his hut is down finally. And here we go with the push with the witch. You see this, the little minions from the witch are actually, what, level 6 already? Gonna arrows all this stuff. Which has got quite a bit of hit points actually for uh, her level as well. So Baby Dragon should go down. And let's see, Knight. Baby Dragon's gonna follow the Knight back and help kill it. And there's another hut again. So we're gonna push Baby Dragon, Giant, and Prince. Flood in Skeleton Army. And let's see what he does with it. Okay, he dropped the Skeleton Army as well. Drop of arrows in the craziness that is going on up there and we got one tower all right let's drop a witch in the back and baby dragon right here okay baby dragon has the tower already okay it turned around to my dragon this has been one of the closer games that i've actually been in oh no okay they're gonna stop there good we had did have one split off arrows arrows get it out so that was actually the first time that I've not really three crowned somebody, but we did get the win. So I need another three after this. That was a really close game. Uh, haven't really run across that. Hopefully once we get up in more trophies, we'll actually be able to run across. Okay, here's a level five person. I just leveled up to three. I actually live streamed uh, last week, or actually earlier this week, Monday, and we came across a level five person and we wrecked that dude. Like we, we three crowned a level five person as a level two. That was actually very hilarious. Uh, we should be able to take the giant and the prince out before they do get to the tower. Um, and this guy's probably not too happy about that right there. So we'll run in with a baby dragon and we'll sit and see what happens with this. See if he can stop this push. Not very much of a push, but of course we're gonna get some damage done. Uh, let's drop Spirit Goblins to the side to pick up the aggro from this Musketeer. I probably should have let it come in a little bit closer to the tower so it could have been getting damage into him. But now he has two ranged on me. Alright, Musketeer is doing work. Take out the bomber before he does kill me. Thank you. Alright, let's get a Prince running. If we can get a Prince, get that brush hit in on that tower. We didn't. Okay, it's going to just hit his Prince. And now we are sitting with not very much elixir and options are slim with cards. Okay, we have giant. So let's go giant witch again. And actually I'll start a witch back here. And then we will drop the giant. Give her time to actually get some more skeletons out. Uh, those skeletons will help kill. Let's see, yeah, all right. Well, the Musketeer did stay up, but we, oh, hey, we, it's perfect, perfect. I did want those goblins to do the range to that guy. Here we go. Get some more range in so we can take out this baby dragon before it kills my witch. Witch died. And getting into a lot closer games. This is a level five person though. So the respect of being able to go up against level five, it's pretty crazy. Baby dragon is not gonna be able to be touched by that. Uh, so we'll just drop a skeleton army and uh, take out his giant. 
And let's get some range stuff in. Hopefully we can make a push to that tower. All right, here comes the skeleton army. Coming in, let's drop a prince in the middle of this. We'll not be expecting that. He dropped a prince as well, so we'll drop another witch. And if we can get enough ranged in, got another baby dragon right on top of that. He's trying so hard to get that one tower, but he's not going to get it. We three crowned him. Level five versus a level three. That is why I tank my rank, guys. Stuff like that is awesome. He's very sad he lost to a level three. Of course, I just did level up. Got a crown chest. Let's open it up, see what we get. Another giant goblin hut and some more skeletons. So we have a clan now. Mobile gamers, if you want to join the clan, it is open to everyone. Uh, so let's set it like 600 trophies, guys. So if you want to join, come in. We'll be live streaming later tonight. So if you want to come in and join us, we can do some 1v1 matches. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solbash. You guys have a nice day. You're ready.